my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Everybody, just calm down. Help! Here. Oh, take my hand. Ah, come on. <laughs> You're gonna fall unless you take my hand. No, give me your other hand. Oh, my other hand isn't strong enough. You take my little hand. No, get it away from me. Take it. Take my hand. No. Oh, the email's going, uh, Rob. Uh, four ten, I think. Um, oh, okay, not too bad. I've uh, I'm seventeen away from a thousand. Great. <laughs> Can't be should happy kick, for me. Should we kick? I am. Down? Can't you we tell? Just had that whole discussion. You had that whole discussion, <laughs> and you can't even be happy for me. I am. This is me being happy. I think it's fucking oh, okay. awesome. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's great. I, I think a that. thousand. Good for you. I want two thousand. <laughs> you can make a hundred grand. Fuck that. Half a mil. That's what I want to see. Get on it. Get on it. I want it to be the best book in CG. I know you could do it. I know you could do great. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to make 200 day one. All right. Day two, another 200. Day three, 400. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to see. Nothing You're but so success for you and your family. I want your, I want your kids to grow up and be millionaires. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's Thank it. you. I'm touched. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I wish all the same for you too, Camel. <laughs> that always Yo. gets me. Yo. Am I potato camming? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I just saw it. It just came on now. This is an issue now. Hold on a sec. I'm going to refresh. I'll leave you guys to it. The camera's like, nah, we're good, bro. <laughs> we don't want to yeah, look at no. this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, let's say hello, chat, while Mike is doing whatever all right, he's doing. Chat. All right. oh. Oh. It's well, something I don't know. Yeah. StreamYard is buggy of late. I appreciate that they're trying new things, but uh, yeah, get your shit together. At the bro. expense of what? Uh, mm. How how are you guys going? Good, pretty good. Better, getting better. I know Probably you about, sounded. Uh... <laughs> you sounded like you were about to die yesterday, Rob. I sounded hey, I, let's not lie. I sounded sexy as fuck yesterday. I thought you were you were bidding so much on that show, those Shelby pieces because you were like, Well, I'm gonna be dead in a week anyway. So let's go out and with a bang. I know, right? Too bad you didn't get them, by the way. Hail uh Ravener. Ravener. Oh, Ravener's here? What's up, dude? No, he he's the one who snagged them. He's the one who snagged oh, them. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it like twenty two right. pieces for yeah. a couple of grand? Two and a half grand. Mm. No, it was really, it was really it was really cool. Even though I didn't win, you know, because I bid, it obviously it got the the price up a lot. So you know, that's more money for Sean. That's great. Mm -hmm. Andy Gogo says, "Too bad I was broke." That was the theme of the whole night. I mean, we don't have the biggest channel, you know, channels in in uh, CG. There were some things that went for outrageously low. That if you know more people were aware of it happening they would have gone for double or potentially potentially triple like, like the roquefort pieces oh yeah uh you know, ethan's piece um well, ethan's know. piece went for a fuckload didn't it 1800 but it was a one of one cyber mm. frog like if he had have sold that on his channel he would have gotten three grand for that easy easy but anyway no it was really good um all right, let's say hello to some people here. Speaking, I think Ethan is still live, so I'm hoping that uh, we'll get a raid at some point. Ooh. And anyway, if Ooh. we don't, whatever. Ethan was cool. wearing the uh, Hail Salad shirt. I know, I saw. Yeah, Very it was pretty cool. awesome. Mm. Looking good. All right, we've got Micra in the house. Uh, Charlie Chan's here. Hello, Charlie Chan. Have we met? Uh, he's over, he's putting in the first, so he knows the rules. Although, the, actually, he doesn't know the rules because we don't do that on the draw stream. That's Play a the strictly uh, prime time comic skate bit. I do uh, it all the time, but I do it on my own streams. This way, I guarantee that I win. 
<laughs> you do it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like that's uh, that's one way to do it. No one said uh, I couldn't. We, we got uh, Jeremy Burt, Snucky Junior, D. Am I blocked? D was blocked. Rob, I don't think so. See, Mike, I have a theory about this. Yeah, there's only one or two possible solutions. One, YouTube did this because YouTube, mm -hmm. you know, YouTube like Twitter does weird shit just randomly. Or you did it yourself because I don't think a rogue bot has that power. No, 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 no. I'll tell you what happened is when you go to time someone out or um, do anything, really, if you accidentally hit the thing, um, those buttons are all really easy to press. But is there an actual block button from the channel button that a mod yeah. can use? Hide user on this channel is right mm. there. Right. And yeah, I've... I've come real close. I've unmodded. Uh, I've unwrenched Mobigs before. Accidentally. Mm, I, I mean, I've timed out heaps of people accidentally yeah. um, when I'm on my phone. Yeah. Well, the time, the put a time, put a user in a timeout is directly above hide user on this channel. So I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm that's gonna, what happened. Gonna, I, I, I checked to see right if there were any wrenches in there that may be like, oh, what's going on? But uh, everyone was normal. There were some that actually I got rid of because I haven't seen them here in a year and a half. So, um, uh, but I think we're all sorted. And uh, thank God that we were because D gave, um, the I think, probably the biggest donation of the whole night, $400. There were, there were oh, so wow. many gangsters yesterday. It was absolutely yeah. insane, man. Rumble Roo says, yo all, let's boot this stream up and heal the world with colors. I see what you did there. Ooh. Thank you. Hello, Rumble. Uh, we're seeing some new people in the chat tonight. That's Great too to clever. Thank you for hanging out here. Um, who else do I see? SDA, Voyager, Sumo. Oh, shout out to Sumo as well. He he beard. Nuts. I can't remember how much it was, man, but he beard a like lot. 310. Yeah, and then he gave it to Sean. Like he gave the piece. Yeah, that, that was like the flex of the night. Yeah, one of them. There was so like seriously, there was so many flexes last night. It yeah, was big, absolutely ridiculous. Well, there big was pimping. like when when you tried to flex, Rob, but then it was like the Bugs Bunny where it kind of went like down. You know? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> but next time, you know, just keep bumping. <laughs> When when uh, who was it? Ravener hand Ravener was like, "This gun isn't working," and Rob's like, "Give me that!" Puts it right <laughs> Blows in the his face. Off. It's working. <laughs> Daffy's beak, beak spins flips around around. his head. <laughs> <laughs> it works fine. Oh, okay. All right. All right. We got pumps back here. Oh, shot then Jetty. Chant is I'm doing an piece. amazing piece for the. Uh, boots and heels competition oh yeah yeah it's pretty rad great. i'm excited one one day you'll say his name correctly too no probably not <laughs> probably not <laughs> I mean, I, it's like it's like ethan honest. and yanzi he still says yanzi yanzi and, yeah. and shame will go and shame will just say directly after yeah, and yanzi said this and ethan will go and yanzi it's <laughs> well, just what yeah, it is because he's from jersey i'm from connecticut it's from like, it's, hey yeah. it's yanzi yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's a tri-state area. Um, all right, we've got things to get to tonight. Uh, I will be coloring uh, this right here. Uh, well, I'll be coloring a piece for this campaign right here. Uh, Boots and Heels by this man here. You're on the cusp of 40,000. Didn't you break 40,000? Not dude? for you. Yeah, it, it so. must be it must be exchange rate thing again. Ah, that sucks. Dude, I, I, I remember when I was doing the rep campaign and we broke 10k like four or five or six times and it just kept yeah. dropping under it was crazy i mean does it it doesn't matter to camel only on, no. this, on this website no, but it for doesn't. us when we have to set up our campaigns in australian dollars so it does jump up and down in the us dollars all the time but, yeah because uh, i know yesterday or two days ago whenever it was like 30 dollars away from 40k and i haven't changed in backers so it's yeah, it's yeah. got to be exchange. Rate. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, it's it's exchange rates. Um, but you're you're over twenty seven thousand two hundred fifty two backers. We're trying to get to two hundred fifty five. That would be great. Two fifty five. I don't know if look. It's been a minute. If if 
if there's just one soul out there <laughs> people okay. might you know what people might be waiting for us uh, i think i think so i mean there's still it. awesome shit on the campaign right now you can still like the 3d cover is awesome but yeah this is this right here is going to be clutch yeah and you've got the uh you've got the the art can the art contest running which is we're seeing some crazy pieces come in with that so yeah, yeah you just, you know, you so we're, we're going to be launching on well i mean it's tentative i would say but this cover will probably be up for sale january 13th and that's when we're going to be doing the big art reveal as well and um, i'm also going to reveal this piece here which i will uh bring up let me see here Ooh. let me uh put this over here for you guys share screen there you go Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Hey, so, I remember yeah. you drawing this. So this, yeah. um, this is what I did last week. And this is my entry into the art contest. It's probably going to win, uh, but I'll see, <laughs> you know, what else comes Are you out. one of the judges in the He's art joking. contest? Yeah, He's but it's, it's only fair because I know what I like, you know. Yeah. Um, but what is going to be great about this is... This is a new type of standee that I've developed. It's essentially, it's called Covers to Life. And it's going to be three tiered all the way to the back. And so when you move it, it'll look, you know, it'll look like a cover that's popping out at you. So, and uh, this is going to be quite large. It'll probably be about this, this big. And uh, that'll be available also when we launch the covers. So it'll be the only standee for the campaign, but it's going to be, it's going to be big. So it'll, it'll, it'll look, it'll look really sharp. Jay Ryan says no chance. I don't know what he means by that. He might mean Oops. you've got no chance of winning or he's got no chance. Uh, Cause his is. So oh, good. I probably have no chance. Yeah. It's just not good. It's fine. I understand. But uh... Snuggy asks is the golf, the gold golf cart is a transformer. All right. Yeah. He's saying maybe that's what um, robust is. He's, he's, he's actually a golf Ooh. cart. Yeah. <laughs> transformed he he spent his years cool. in florida just riding around <laughs> driving around camel just getting the lay of the land as a reconnaissance uh what do you guys say uh eric grant covers to life there's another idea for bancroft to steal i mean Grant, where does this <laughs> idea come from that i steal all these ideas it comes directly from your actions and so what's also going to be great about this is on the back, you're going to see the original cover that this was based off of. So it'll, uh, you know, from the front end, it'll be a three-dimensional cover. And when you flip it over, you'll see the original print that I made like 10 years ago, where you can see like how I've updated it and changed the style and made it kind of, you know, a little bit more conducive to working specifically for a standee. Originally, I was going to take the old art and turn it into a standee, but then it, it became very problematic because you have to worry about the background layers and such. So I was like, you know what? I'll just draw it from scratch. It'll be, it'll look better anyway. So Sounds good, man. Sounds cool. There's so much stuff on your campaign. I'm doing the anti-boots and heels campaign where I have... So <laughs> You're going to do boots or heels. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which I can show you guys now um if i can if i can uh pull it up so i'm gonna i'm gonna do a video on this tomorrow my it's gonna be my last video Ooh. before uh we go live it's i think the website is 99 percent where i want it to be the, the last thing i think i need to do is i want to set up uh new zealand shipping rates because they'll get like they're international but they get like mates rates because it's actually only a little bit more expensive than domestic to ship out to New Zealand from here. So, but uh, yeah, uh, and even the mo, I, I've been testing the mobile version and everything. I'm really happy. I think this is superior to an Indiegogo campaign. And um, what is it again? What platform? Shopify. Shopify. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Shopify, you don't have to worry about um, any sort of 
uh, hacking attacks, anything like that, any stability attacks. Like these, these guys are a massive multi-billion dollar company that hosts millions of online stores uh, all over the world. You know, that's all set up and everything. It's so like, it's like headache free in that sense. With this, you know how you've warped it? Could you unwarp it? Like, would that work? Would that just come yeah, It already was unwarped. I warped existing art to go, you know, like in the yeah. Matrix. How he goes, but you know how you've colored and everything now? Could you unwarp it and would it make it all like normal without fucking it all up? You'd you have Not severe really. pixelation. Yeah. Yeah, that would, it would be really hard. <laughs> it would be really hard. Mm. Why, why, yeah. why, why would you, why do you want me to do that? Like, what's the, uh, oh, I was just thinking, dude, if you, if you did like a, like a animation of some sort where it goes mm -hmm. from like normal to her coming in and it all warping, that would be fucking dope. But if it's impossible, there's no, 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 you could probably do that. I could probably get the, probably i don't know I, someone would be able to do that probably pretty simply but not me i i don't know the how you would go about that you but, could go um, into photoshop and um liquefy it and then you could yeah you could try to bounce it back yeah well that's that how i did the man. that's how i did the original warping um, okay but the i you know the, the cars moved i got rid of people uh and then i obviously because when you warp stuff out you're sort of like spherizing it mm -hmm. so there's all the corners there's nothing there so they all had to be manually drawn in uh which was a friggin' nightmare but worth it um so yeah i i figured out how to get these uh these buttons to be uh contrasting color which was a Took me only took me two weeks to figure that out, but now that I <laughs> now that I know, it's like oh, that was super easy and straightforward. Um, but uh, you know, I've added all these things because this really is a second chance campaign. So it's sort of like the 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 last go of the first campaign, really. Um, so I've got a bunch of stuff that I still have left over from the first campaign that I thought, you know, let's let's reward early backers. Um, and I've got them all written out here. Uh, so I've, I've got still got a bunch of these prints left. These ones, mm -hmm. not many. Mm -hmm. So I thought, all right, first five backers, there's not many left. They're in good quality. First five, get all three of these for free. Oh, this is all like just stuff I'm just going to chuck in there. Cause I mean, otherwise it's going to sit in my house and who wants that? The first, um, 15 we'll get um at least this so five you'll get all three 15 you get these uh, the first 50 will get an ella 6 a.m sticker i still have 50 of them left uh the first 80 will get also get a postcard and then as you can see right there the first 125 will also get the um painted death uh 12 page comics mm -hmm. that i've uh that i've still got left so i thought that's pretty pretty fun thing to do pretty interesting way and a good way to for me to get rid of stuff <laughs> yeah mike micro says need to work on that upselling first five get this stuff i was going to chuck <laughs> no no i hadn't i wasn't gonna chuck it it's just sitting here it's like well it's gonna sit in a box right in my cottage I guess collecting dust. I mean, I'm not going to throw it out because it's cool. May as well, you know. Well, like I, like uh, when I just finished wrapping every hail salad package that's going out, <laughs> and I have three lunch boxes with every standee and every version of the comic left. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make those available. I don't know when at some point. But, you know, it'll be a high ticket price, but it will be the last time anyone can get any mm -hmm. of the standees and it'll be complete. So it's like you can get the entire package for, you know, pretty much everything that was on the first campaign without a T-shirt in it. So it, it'll it's, uh, you know, it'll be a good deal if you want to try to catch up. Yeah, it sounds and it's, good. Yeah, again, it's like otherwise, well, I'm just going to sit on it. It's just going to sit here, you know. 
<laughs> Sumo says, we know this is just to clear space in the shed. Oh, it's to, it's to value add, yeah? Value Ooh. add to the campaign. And also, just essentially, basically, if you're one of the first five backers, you get a preview book, a postcard, an Ella sticker, and three prints. Whereas if you're the 126th backer, you don't get any of that. So Yeah, I've got all those things, Mike. I know, but as I said, it's a second chance campaign. It's for people who haven't got that stuff. Now, I don't even know if, if I have a hope in hell of getting 125 to back this, but, you know, we'll see. Um, so, yeah, you click through. I like how this works. It's an online store, but I don't have any product page. I don't have any menu. The only place you can go to is the home page. See if I can get that down a bit. Yeah, I'm, then... I'm looking forward to you setting up my one of this. <laughs> no, I mean when you watch the vi when you watch the video series, you'll be able to pretty much see how to do it. It is simple, but the problem is it's just figuring out the the layout of the uh, of of Shopify. Now that mm -hmm. I know it, I'm like super fast. I want to make a change. I know exactly where to go. Here, bang, Wait, bang, so... bang, bang. Let me ask. A week so ago, you, I was like pulling my hair out. You're doing this. Now, is this, do you think, easier or better to use than Wix and their, um, you know, whatever that that app they have is so that you can do crowdfunding through it? So the crowd, the, the Wix, Wix crowdfunding system looked to me to be obscenely complicated. Oh, really? Okay. So, uh, I'm, I don't think I was ever going to do that. Wix, I think, makes better, prettier um, uh, portfolio sites. Sure. But so I still have a Wix site that I've sort of pretty much built. It's called yeah. the Lucent, the Lucent comic.com. And I will be launching that. This one is specifically for this campaign. And, you know, if I continue this on Painted Death, I'll have paintedeath.com. Yeah, you know, and it'll just be essentially, I'll just use this site and you know yeah. make it make it go to a new URL and put in new products. It's that easy. So now this is all built. All I need to do is put in products. It's fine. Uh, Rob was answering Snuggy's question. Shipping. Shipping is one of the big boons of using this site. Why? Because uh -huh. I get to set my own shipping how it works it's very uh you know customizable you mean like with so, add-ons and that yep yeah so basically i just get to select i just get to put weights in of what the products are and then you get and then and then select thresholds you can have as many thresholds as you want so i've got two that's the way i'm happy to work with me so if you just get the book if you just get one book i mean you could get this book you could get a uh the first edition you could get the unedited edition oh that's cool you have options i didn't know that yeah, i yeah. thought it was just your reprint no no there's a whole thing here so they'll that's ten dollars if you want to combine anything so just say you get the, the the reprint cover and unedited edition or the ginger root hand um it's going to jump up to 15 international australian is going to be a lot cheaper but the, the cool thing about the 15 is it never goes any higher. You could literally add in a hundred here like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it'll still be $15 shipping. How does, how does that work? What do you mean? It's like, an online store. No, no, I understand. I understand the concept of it, but like if, if they're ordering a hundred copies of the book, yeah. how is it only going to cost $15 to ship? Because I am going to absorb the cost of the shipping into every copy. Yeah. Wow. So it's like a discount. Yeah. It's You're how most online stores work. They usually most online stores love that if you buy over X amount, you you get free shipping, that sort of stuff. Can you uh, take so... a pause for a second? Because you got D's gifted five memberships. Oh, hail D. I know what one he wants. Thank you so much, D. Here you go, buddy. Where is it? Where is it? Well, cheers, biggies. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
me. Uh, I see. How's your father got his membership? He was saying, oh, is anyone out there feeling generous? <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah. And look, no, you and you, the, you don't have to set up like that. You can set up however way you want, you know, but that's the cool thing. Like each person gets to set up exactly how they want this thing here uh where it says the campaign launches in the countdown that will switch to the campaign is live and then 30 days so you get that's all cool. the countdown all the way to the seconds um so i mean know exactly when it's ending it's making indiegogo look pretty average isn't it really it is isn't it now i didn't get the bar the little Ooh. thing bar but i've got this what, so i'll have what? total raise oh yeah dollars. And then this is the percent raised over the funding goal. Mm -hmm. oh, so very cool. uh, I'm sure that there's that now I'm sure there's someone clever with, uh, you know, website stuff who could make a bar and you would just put that in as what they call a custom liquid, <laughs> which sounds weird, but yeah, you would just put that in here. I don't know how to do that, but I think this is fine. This is all straight off the shelf. The only thing that costs me any money, by the way, is I think this thing which cost me $5 a month um, to have this app added to the site. But what, wouldn't you rather have Indiegogo ghost you and steal thousands of dollars from you instead? I mean, wouldn't that be <laughs> yes. a better? Yes. Uh, okay, I'm just confused. Uh, Rumble Roo says, I'm one of the people that missed the first campaign, so I'll be grabbing a copy. I'm going to grab a copy. I'm going to grab another copy too. I might give it to my mom. Sumo says, oh, that's very nice. Sumo says, Bancroft is an expert at pleasing the D. Well, I oh. nearly lost the D. Uh, he God. was blocked. Could, could you and imagine? he had to reach out to me uh, from on other uh, avenues to find me again. But uh, we sorted out. Speaking of, uh, he showed, he's, he spoke up on R Rumble. We are simulcast on Rumble. And I see uh, Legata goes over there, hailing me, Camel, and Rob. Hello. That is so, that is so funny, though, Mike, because the amount of shit I've given you about Rumble and if you didn't have it, you would have lost D. So it's kind yeah. of worked out for you. you know, it's, 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 it's funny. Um, yeah, yeah, it worked out fine. And, you know, and I've got it right here. So, you, you know, before you do it, you can select uh, what you want. And if you wanted one of all three, like let's take this back to one, you would just go, okay, I want one signed on the cover because that's special. You add to cart. The cart will pop down. There it is. That's sick. And then you can just... You know, ignore that, and you say, "All right, I want a signed, I want an unsigned one as well for uh, so it's pure and untouched by human hands." And then you got two in there, so you go to your cart, and they're both there. And as you can see, um, well, no, it's, it won't put the shipping in now. That, that that'll be calculated at checkout. And there's uh, this is, I think, this is Shopify Pay. So this is like if you've got. If you've used Shopify before, that'll all be all preloaded. Uh, there's Apple Pay if you want. There's obviously all the credit cards and stuff. I'm not doing PayPal because of the pre-sales, but when they're printed, I probably will turn on PayPal for people who want that. Um, and yeah, so you know, these I'm calling these add-ons. There's the enamel ginger root hand made by Ooh. Sumo Flory. Uh, which is really cool. And here's the thing. Another cool thing about it is I got to add in this. So there's 40 of these available and zero sold, you know, so that'll just tick up or down as they sell. Uh, there it is there. It's like a little challenge coin that he made for me. Oh, cool. Awesome. Wait, so he says, um, does it support yes, Google yes, Pay? Yes, it has Google Pay. Yes. Uh, Sumo Thori made it, Camel. Oh, that's cool. And um, uh, all right, so yeah, you know, oh, look, Rob. Oh, a ruler suggestion. That was your idea. It's huge. Four <laughs> Sumo doesn't want any of my custom liquid. Well, I'm afraid there's there's a few custom liquids in, in on this site, Sumo. So you really can't avoid it. Um. And yeah, so you keep scrolling down. This is under every single product thing these are the i mean it's it's just the same thing but down here so you can see them more i have bit the bullet and will be Ooh. making a original version of the cover 
same way that I did it on the original campaign where I print out because I do, obviously I work digital. I print out at full size the um, the thing at a like a really kind of really soft opacity, about twenty percent or so, and then I I hand draw over that in um, pen in uh, like those whatever those markers are that Ethan uses, uh, and I decided that that's the price. Now, if that doesn't sell, that just means I don't have to do it, you know. But if someone <laughs> wants it that bad uh you know 1500 bucks i think it's that's worth my time taking my time away from painted death to uh redraw this essentially um now if they want five of them are you willing to draw yeah, look, five times? look what happens it's a smart site look add to cart uh you can't add more original art covers to the lucent yeah so only one available so if you but can you add could that cut. draw it over and over, I guess if you wanted. No, <laughs> no, that's another cool thing. I get to set the stock. Um, I get to set the uh, yeah how it is, and uh, um, yeah, and that's how that is. So, and then also underneath, I've gotten I've they've made this my own custom area. These are stretch goals to be announced. Yeah, what are all these? Where have they come from? I haven't seen that This before. is O-Renz. Dude, he did this. I went on to Arvid's stream the other day. He did this live in front of me while we were talking. The it's fuck? so awesome. Like, you, you wait till you see the full thing. I was thinking, oh, that could be make a cool post, uh, like bookmark or something. He colored it up and sent it to me. It, was, it looks so cool. I'm like, that has to be a print, I reckon. Mm -hmm. Um. How, so, how does it feel having better art as an add-on then? I know, right? Page? No, it feels great. I mean, I'm like, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, no, it does. It actually feels really good. I was like, wow, I love seeing people draw Ella better than I can, for real. It, it's 1.5K, not 15K, guys. 1.5. Yeah, 1.5K, yeah. Mike, one thing oh, that so really that's... pisses me off with Indiegogo is when you go, like, to check out, it switches back from, like, us dollars to australian dollars on the shipping so yeah. the shipping looks like it's you know three times as much that yeah a lot great. of people go i'm not paying that like i've had that yeah. i've had people I've say had that multiple I times i was gonna i was gonna back your book on indiegogo it's just, can you guys hear that rain it just started freaking unloading on us um and and i said no no the shipping isn't they said oh the shipping was like 35 dollars something i know so like, no it was 15 they're mm. like no i i swear but yeah that this whatever I, whatever um currency they're in you know it it shows that instead of the us dollars but that so, that yeah. won't happen on this like can you set it to no 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 no, no. so want? this is yeah so it'll automatically be set to um let's see if i if i refresh here if this will if this will show i probably won't because i've already set it so Anyone who comes to this site who's not in the States, they'll get a pop-up as soon as they land here. And it says, we've detected that you're in wherever you are. To me, it says Australia. Other people will say other places. Do you want to swap? So you want to switch to that currency and you can continue mm. in your currency of your country. Um, and you can change that down here. So I can change this to whatever currency I want. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, oh my God, it's so much better. Down here. So... So, but I've got it set to the US right now. So, yeah, all the shipping will. Um, now, I can't, I don't think I can show you guys the, the uh, checkout, like the actual checkout page, um, because I think it's got my address preloaded into it. But yeah, it'll just show $10. And then if you add something extra into your cart, that'll tick up to 15 and stay there. Um, I think this one is actually under $10 if you just want. A ginger root hand <laughs> and on all these items um you can get these straight away obviously like you don't have to wait for these but i have put a note that if you purchase them with this then you do have to wait until it ships uh but you know like if you want the poster if you want the first edition if you want the unedited edition um you can get them straight away like you don't have to wait they'll build your ship out um, D, it's about 2200 in Australian dollars. Yeah. I, I was speaking to Rob earlier, Rob and Camel. I said, I was thinking, you know, this and that. And I'm like, look, I'm really busy. 
on my stuff, like what number would I feel is, um, now I would feel justified taking time off my really tight production schedule. Yeah. Uh, it, it's not cheap, that, but I like you get, you get to the point where, you know, it has to be worth your time or exactly. effort to, to, yeah. to do it. Um, yeah, you know, and if, and it, like I said, if it doesn't sell, well, I don't, I don't have to draw it. At yeah. Least, so. Um, there's that. Uh, yeah. So I'm thinking, you know, they've got a, a cool print. This will probably be a bookmark this cause you've already, there's already a sticker. I was thinking might be one of those magnets like that Shane did like the, the printed magnets, something like that. I don't know. That's all just to be announced and that can all come down here and I can just keep adding whatever I want down here in whatever format I want. It's so, it's so good. Yeah, and it's clean and it's branded. It's all in my oh. color. I've called this, I've got this color set up in, in the back end called Lucent Blue. And then this is like the highlight color. Hey, um, blue? Well, what are you whatever. Talking about? People say green. I don't know. So it's it's right in the middle. So it's, some people say it's blue, some people say it's green. It's teal. it's its own color. It's blucent. Yeah. It's blue. <laughs> exactly um what happens when you run out of stock or decide to finish up selling so uh let's say let's look at this probably the one with the least stock is this the first edition has only three available oh shit um so there you go three available right there so now when what that, are you sells, that for? what do that's you mean cheap. No, three i've got to sell well that's how yeah. much i've got them on ebay for oh so oh. um I have my own copy, so I'm fine. I'm set. That, that, was, uh, that All three of them will go day one. Well, I mean, they're available on eBay right now. They might not even last to the thing, so I don't know. Uh, um, God damn it. It's like a monsoon out there. The weather in oh, I thought, Melbourne is crazy at the moment, man. I thought Mel was mowing the lawn again <laughs> right next to the shed here. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. So when that sells out, it will just disappear. So it'll disappear from the site. It'll disappear from here. It'll disappear from here. But you I know, that question is like, you're not really going to run out of stock because you're going to order whatever you sell. Oh, plus so for extras. this, so for this, it's not tracking stock. Okay. So um, if you notice here, it doesn't say available. It just says sold. So this mm. will only track the number sold, just like on, on Indiegogo on the perk number. Yeah. So I can continue selling that forever. When this counts down to, to zero, I can just turn this into a in-demand store, take off the counter, and then just leave this here. That's and fantastic. then these can just continue selling for in perpetuity. And I can keep this number here so you can still see backers ticking. You can still see the total raised, all that stuff. And it'll just exist. You, you uh, know, the only thing you need is like that little pop up. When you go to websites and buy stuff sometimes, then it go, pops up and goes, D from Sydney bought this. You know, oh, I can Sumo. get that. I'm not, I'm going to turn that on. I don't want to do that. No, you don't like um, it? Mm. No, I don't like it. I, I, I feel like it, it reminds me of those, we, the, those websites where it's like, 2000 valentine cheap valentine's day gift purchase mm. and stuff like yeah, that i enough. can have that if i want i don't want that what i do have as well that indiegogo doesn't have is if I've i sold. put this in my cart yeah I've, oh, I've actually got stuff in my cart sorry view my cart so if i leave all this let's take that let's take the big item out uh um if i leave these in my cart mm. tomorrow i'll get an email from me saying hey michael you left something in your car did you want to maybe come and buy it oh they do that and... in go go all the time yeah, yeah they do that with indigo oh do they okay cool yeah right. yeah that's i didn't know it's they annoying. Did that. I, I never put anything in my car it is annoying but it, it it does it does uh remind people to yeah um to you know finish their purchase oh there you go there's google pay for you d but um, it's it's but, yeah, I'm, well. you know cuz i've done it on myself just to make sure that the add-ons are working. And then it's like, Oh, you were about to back boots and heels. You want to make sure I was like, it's my fucking campaign. <laughs> well, it can't know your, uh, <laughs> it should, it can't, <laughs> it can't know your, uh, thing. But, um, uh, 
you can even sign in this i like as well like you can continuously sign up to the emailing list and i can add sms to here which i think i will uh i just need to figure that out that that, that um, might need like a bit more um emphasis i think so like people yeah this is that. a this is a little um difficult like to customize some of the stuff it's not super easy to customize like i can't change these things i want to get this three to be the same um kind of whatever color this is this kind of greeny color i probably will be able to do that but i've got to figure out how uh but other than that after setting up the new zealand shipping prices i think we're ready to go and this is the the infamous propaganda trailer no no play uh, again no, we don't need to play it. I've put you. on some reviews that I've gotten from Indiegogo and eBay. Uh, it links through to Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube right there on every page. Uh, I think I'm way happier than this than Indiegogo. But the only downside is you obviously get no foot traffic. It's the only people who are going here are people who have come through your direct link on YouTube. But you're not getting any foot traffic within your go-go at the moment. So. Not if you're shadow banned, yeah. Mm. That's really cool, dude. I'm excited for yeah. you. I'm, I'm, excited for, like... I'm excited for me when you do my page. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll be out. Like I said, I'll be doing... I've already got two videos out on this. The, the first one was a why I'm doing it. The second one was a bit more of what I'm doing. And the one I'll be recording tomorrow morning will be, will get you up to speed on everything that I've done to get to this point. And then the fourth one I will do after, and that'll detail the, um, uh, like the receiving orders side of it because I'll have orders by then. I've already done that. I've already tested it. So I know it all works. Uh, and I've already actually gotten paid because I wanted to do live orders. So I've gotten paid four dollars ninety nine by by uh, Shopify already. It came through really quick. It comes through daily, by the way. That's another good thing. Uh, there you go. Mm. I don't have to wait until, you know, whenever the campaign ends to get the money. I get the money so, daily. So what's the deal with refunds then? Is it is it like no refunds kind of? I thing? well, I'm I no, I have a refund policy. Yeah. Uh, which is um, I will uh, I will refund. Oh look, there you go. I just found something. That's uh there's no padding there. Um Boo-hoo. I will refund up to the point of shipment. Yeah. Um that's my policy on Indiegogo too. Mm-hmm. Uh so I will I'll be holding the money. Um, which I'd be doing anyway. Uh so it but you know, if you if you buy if you buy a ginger root hand and I send it off, um yeah, there's probably yeah, I, now, I don't is, expect many people to want refunds anyway. Is this like uh, a, a proving ground, like a uh, dipping your toe in the water to see if you want to do this for Lucent too? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's, it's see if I can, and yeah. I, I think I need to, and that's mm. not to say I won't be using Indiegogo or Kickstarter. I will probably be using both on payment. Mm. Um, but because are you I, not, are you going to launch all three at the same time? I don't right? know. Okay. I don't know. I really haven't thought about it because what's the implications of that? How's that yeah. going to work? Shane had an idea because he's doing a he's doing a site that's much more complicated than this. He's actually basically, well, actually, Yancey has has rebuilt an Indiegogo for them for their thing. So it looks exactly like Indiegogo. It's got perks and everything and all that sort of stuff. Way more complicated than what I'm doing, and they're thinking on their home page which would sit sort of here so it would be right here imagine instead of this here view campaign it's got the you know lucent painted death total raised and it's it's aggregating all three sources that was my idea mike we talked about this yeah i know but other people have ideas at the same time rob but you are you having an idea i I'm right here. Rob, I don't this this is not about ownership, okay? Oh it's about God. I no, he heard me talking, he heard you and I talking about it and he said, "Have you guys figured that out because I'm actually working on it right now." So, mm. yeah, I don't think he has figured it out yet, but um that would be I think that would pretty much solve everything because at, it, you know, it's a little bit like uh, 
here's here's the thing you've got people who watch our streams who um who uh really are very annoyed at indiegogo and kickstarter right now they mm -hmm. would much rather to um much rather prefer to uh, back on our own sites and avoid those sites but you know that's you know that's let's let's face it like that's a smaller number of people most people they don't give a crap uh, well, you know whatever they'll back on kickstarter they're back on indiegogo uh, they but you know they they probably aren't going to trust lucentwakingdream.com so i do think we still do need to be out there in you know on these um bigger like a parent sites. company yeah just so that there's some type yeah. of checks and balance and yeah i agree yeah yeah but but at the same time you're kind of like watering down your success uh, in terms of that that big number that that uh eric july can go around and say 3.7 million dollars bitches like you're kind of watering that down if you're like oh, some people are backed on this some people are backed on that so it would be great to have one kind of aggregate. big number mm -hmm. that aggregates everything i think that would yeah, solve no, that would solve that it's sort of worry idea. that us creators have. <laughs> it was a good idea, Rob. Yes, thank you. Uh, that would, um, yeah, that would alleviate that worry that uh, <laughs> we as creators have of that watering down. Do you want to tackle this one from Marby Dog? What about damaged goods? My my return policy will be the same as it is on Indiegogo. Mm. Uh, if if the book comes damaged or whatever, uh, yeah, just reach out and um we'll fix it up for you we'll send you out another one no problem you know? i think most people have that i kind had of very few problems. lost books because we it's all tracked now everything is shipped tracked um you know from door to door uh the the mailers that i'm shipping these things in are the best in the world uh, oh that's a big call on, oh, absolutely i've never seen anything anywhere near it they absolutely shit on gemini mailers um and we, I don't think I got a single like bent or anything like that out of a thousand mm. over a thousand, actually, it's actually much closer to 1100 um, things shipped. So, uh, but yeah, you know, if anything's damaged and they come like double plastic bags, so they don't really get water damage either. Actually, these ones will be triple bagged because I've got, um, we were, we found it really annoying to tape up these mailers just as a sort of extra water damage precaution so we just bought some of those cheap you know like plastic wrap bag things what are they so you're, gonna put, bags? you're gonna put the mailers inside a bag yeah yeah Ooh, just cool. so just so that we don't have to because it's like five times quicker than the tape mel was look not me this is all mel mel's doing the fulfillment yeah mel, I do mel's the a smart one mel does the fulfillment and she's telling me um She's telling me the tape. I don't want to do the tape anymore. So I'm like, I'm That's a benevolent a good idea, dude. husband. Tape takes fucking forever yeah. to do. Yeah. Uh, Sumo says you should try to get a counter on this page where the view campaign button is that adds up all the money from all the That would be the, yes, right here, front and center. That would be the, the, the dream. Does Mel get annoyed when you steal her ideas as well? You're the only one, Rob, because you think, <laughs> now you think that just having an idea, having a thought in your head, uh, though, like gives you some sort of ownership over an idea. Yeah. Rob and goes, really does Rob goes to the movies and it's like, you know, they have like a, 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 a Star Wars guy and he has like a double lightsaber. And he's like, that was my idea. I came up with yeah, that yeah. when I was Damn seven. Right. And it's like, but like, oh yeah. They tap your phones. <laughs> it's like no, but it, you. It's, it's like saying, uh, "What if? <sighs> what if? Um, instead of just like a mobile phone, yeah, it's also uh, a hologram that you hold up, and it just like show. It just like changes your whole world into a video game, and you could just go walk around uh, like a video, an augmented reality. And it's like, yeah, yeah, that's an idea, Rob, but. Are you going to actually fuck you make it? About? I'm just saying, like, anyone nothing. can have an idea. But that's just the very beginning. 
It's like, yeah, I want it. Yeah, I, I have an idea. It's like a flying, anyone can have an idea. It's a flying except for electric Mike. car that runs off AAA batteries that lasts for a hundred years. Yeah, but it's like, are you going to actually engineer that? Are you going to make that? Mate, they, some dude made a car that ran off water and he got assassinated. That's right. I know they're coming for me. I know they're coming for me. No one's coming for you, Rob. Michael no Dietrich says, Shane stole Rob's idea like Edison stole ideas from Tesla. Tesla equals Rob better than Shane. Oh, <sighs> gosh. Oh, Rumble Roo says, here's a new idea for you for a comic. The Duplicator. It's a robot ass assassin that duplicates. <laughs> Oh my god, we need to get the duplicator out. Oh, uh, Eric Grant says, by the way, this is a nice cover that Rob made. Thank you, man. Mm. You, you think after all the work I put in put on put in on this cover, Mike would be happy to set up my website for me. I will help you, Rob. I will help you, but I'm not gonna do it for you. We're making progress. He's gone from yeah, you got to teach you. a man to make a website, <laughs> you know, or he makes a website. And he does a website forever, whatever the phrase is, you know. I, I like it's the hat super, camel. it's super easy once you know where everything is. Once mm. you know where everything is and how it works, essentially, these things are apps that you plug in. Uh, you just uh, it's you just go to the app store, you you search for one that's free, hopefully find one, and then sometimes there isn't, and it's like five dollars a month. Okay, that's only you know that the one app that I've got. And then you just install it and it's there. And then you drag it on to the to the page and you're good to go. And there's a little bit of customization involved, but you know. I mean it's it the red lights have taken the piece from a five out of ten to a ten out of ten. The red lights were a good idea, Rob. It was a, sometimes you you just you do something as an artist and you're like, Well, why did you do that? Well, that's because that's because that's what I did. And then you don't stop and say, well, you know, if you did that instead, it would be better. And sometimes mm. you just need someone to say that. It's not as if you did it, though. It's just you needed an outside opinion. Mm -hmm. Here we you go. Sh you, had, you should have had one red, one green, one yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe um, we've been talking about this for like half an hour. I know. Yeah, yeah. We get it. This is the best draw stream ever. Uh, toast, toasted dot com which i became aware of today is where you type oh. in your your handle and it tells you the people who've most visited your profile how accurate do you think this is because mine Not says joe sontag cecil kenneth ethan reenie mm. john billy tucci shelly and mike Barron. <laughs> i mean I, i'm on i it. don't think it's accurate because I always click on your profile to find you to send you DMs on stuff. Mm. So I go to your profile quite a lot. Yeah, but you don't are you as cool as these people though? No. You know? That's, so, not, the, that's not the that's not the That's argument. a that's a brag. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna screen crap I'm gonna screen grab that in case it's you know, well, I just away. don't understand why Cecil's checking you out that I know often. number two Cecil. I mean I've 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 spoken with Cecil maybe two or three times in my five years in comics. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he's obsessed with you, you know? I don't know. I just, I'm like, hey, Cecil, if you, I mean, we can be buddies, man. Uh, I'd, Here's I'd love mine. That. Uh, if you, whenever you're ready, you can show it. All right, let's have a look. Oh, hang on. So apparently, um, let's see, who do we have here? Uh, Narwhal, number one. Uh, Pete Sametti is number two. It's many. It's like I gotta get all my comic. This is from, so from full of deals. shit. Come on, <laughs> Graham Nolan. Thanks, Graham. I Kenneth Rocafort. You know he's always like, let me go check out what Camel's doing because he's <laughs> leaning over to here in CG. <laughs> thanks, bro. He was my uh, number three. Kenneth. <laughs> Kenneth is the man of the people. Yeah. He loves the up and coming artist. I like that. Um, <laughs> Gabe, you know, that, that makes sense, I guess. Uh, Sierra Whiskey makes sense. Uh, then we have Mandy, uh, Peter, and Andy Smith. Yeah, I think I did quite well. I, I like to know that uh, right here at the top here, I have Graham Nolan. and <laughs> Yeah, uh, we need the chat. Kind of Co-creator of Bane is a massive Camel Moon fan. I mean, that must just <laughs> warm the cockles. What did you mean? <laughs> 
sense to me. So you think Graham Nolan at number three is impressive? Is that what you're saying? I mean, unless he's number one. Pretty. Boom. Oh, you must really, really enjoy wow. the content. Yeah. I am Nolan. He's just, he's thirsting for. These are the same ones. You, these are like the same info. ones that Mike has. This I'm is, this is, this, this is, is shit. Uh... This is full of shit. Well, I wonder <laughs> if you do it again, right? So let me do it again. Yeah, I'll do the I same. Do I'll do the same. And I've saved mine. So, uh, you know, I'll be able to know. <laughs> Oh, dude, wouldn't you love it if Graham Nolan was in the chat right now and he'd be like, I've never visited any of your profiles ever. It's the same. It's actually the same. He literally said to me, what's a Bancroft? So What's a Bancroft? <laughs> Why can't I do it again? Is it that was a, that was an interesting video because apparently you were watching that live and um, taping yourself. Yes. For your own. <laughs> yeah. I you don't like do that? weird timing. Yeah, don't you don't know. you don't record yourself as you watch um <laughs> anything watch really. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Well, I got the I same exact results, that. so I don't know what yeah, that means. So did, so did I. Who who had the best who had the best one chat? We got Bancroft here. That's his his lineup. All right. Camels or mine. Who won? It's difficult. I think me. Although, maybe... Graham Nolan number one, man. Graham Nolan on. number one spot is pretty impressive. I think they're all, you know, on balance, they're all about even. Wait, what was I've your got, number I've one, got... like? Joe. Joe Sontag. Oh, okay. <laughs> that sounds like disappointing. It's only <laughs> Joe Sontag, I can. I've Not got Kenneth. Ethan, uh, Kenneth is John, number three, though. Kenneth is number Billy three. Tucci. Ethan's number four. I've got Tucci. I've got Malin. i got Rini. I've got, uh, I don't have Aaron, Aaron Lepresti, but I do have Shelly Lepresti. Let, let me ask you that. Let's just say for argument's sake. I mean, what if it is real? <laughs> I mean, like, wow. The Graham Nolan's really checking out Rob's art all the time. <laughs> it makes <laughs> no a great sense. Artist. <laughs> well, your number one uh, fan is, um, is Nawal. Yeah. He's just Looks sitting like there. He's like, He's What's just, that next like, hail salad every day? Out? Yeah, no, every day he's like, I gotta get back on Camel Nights. I, I blew my shot. I, I get I'm, back up to the, up to the Ivory on Tower. One episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Meanwhile, you, Rob, Sheila, uh, you know, anyone who would be, I would imagine, yeah. going to my page for any reason. All the time. Nowhere. Yeah. Nowhere. Also, I just think about it. Like, I don't go to anyone's page ever. Yeah, I do. I do because I um, I uh, I get art from it. You know, if they're a guest on the show or whatever. yeah. But I, I feel so, like I mean, for the most part, unless if I already have your DM, uh, I'm going to my mail if I need to hit you up. Mm. So you know, it's not like I'm frequenting. Oh, let's go see what's happening on their timeline. I mean, I'm. Yeah, let's I go there to get I go there to get art and links for um, mm. guests. So I do go to people's things quite a bit. Um, I'll probably go to Ethan's, you know, if I know that he's retweeted something that I want to talk about on a video. Mike goes um, to Ethan's every day. I, I like to... scrolling through Ethan's timeline and liking things from six months ago, so he knows I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> There's also, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I think this might be a little bit stupid. Askew. <laughs> Dumb. It's in the <laughs> ballpark though. It doesn't just, it doesn't just pull people who are, you know, like, they're all in the sphere of influence. Yeah. I mean, that's true. I mean that you can't argue that. Like I have talked to, I would say, oh, I don't know. So it's eight or seven out of nine people here in the last month. So, yeah, yeah. No, I've. Do you, re do you reckon that me. that's what it is? It's just like in the last month, and they've just said it's for all time. Probably. I mean, yeah. I, I, I. That's what I'm saying. Like, I bet you there is actually some accuracy to it. It's just that you know the metrics that they're using to find it is just totally 
you know. Well, that's cool but, that uh, Cecil and Kenneth have uh, been checking out my profile then in the last month. Happy with that. Good for you. All right. We should – um, <laughs> good for you. We should uh, probably do mm. something. I did so, promise do some coloring. Are you going to be sharing your drawing or is it just going to be uh, – It's Yeah, it's here. Own? Okay, cool. Look at it, not look at it, whatever. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Crotch. <laughs> it is a crotch. He's hiding his crotch a little bit. Every time. This will be fun because I'll, I'll, um, I will, uh, I'm going to be shading because I obviously don't have the inks yet. I'll be shading Gator and you'll be inking it. Oh, okay. Ooh. How about that? How about that? I'm just going to remember what I'm up to here. And then we just completely shut up. <laughs> yeah. Mm. All right. No, I thought I loved the the um, art auction yesterday. I thought that was amazing. It's like one it of those was a real shot in the arm, wasn't it? A real yeah. good way to like send off the year. Yeah. I you know I, I'd love to do have that feeling more often and i don't know how we do that but that'll be really cool well i don't think you can mm. um yeah that's probably why it was so cool because it's it wasn't a frequent thing yeah. yeah yeah exactly like you can't just look at what happened and then say oh we should do that every month because then yeah that yeah. that won't happen every month yeah exactly. that's like the, the the hollywood trap right where it's just like yeah. Hey, we got lightning in a bottle. Let's do it again. And then you get Police Academy 9, you know? <laughs> like, okay, exactly. that's not happening. Yeah, so I understand, like, the... um, You want every day that you're sort of hanging out in CG to just be this crazy, madcap, like, experience. But uh, it's just like, it really can't be that. And it kind of would, if you try to make it, it, yeah, it would just be exactly that. It would just, yeah, be manufactured and and not what it is. And plus, as well, I mean, I think you know the the, the sort of the biggest craziest thing that happens in CG is a big launch, um, like a big crazy launch. Yeah. And again, is like, is that something you want? all the time as a backer as a creator as whatever i, I don't know like, if i'd agree it with could that, become though. overwhelming well okay i mean things like what happened yesterday you know yeah obviously um like i, I look back on the things that I, like you know i've enjoyed the most and i look at like uh crackheads give a 1000 sub giveaway i look at stuff like the the uh not the auction but the thing you did for billy basco with the uh ar mm -hmm. row i look at stuff like that i don't really look at launches and go you know that's what really gets me you know excited and, and proud and happy about what we're doing here you know, it's great okay well maybe like uh, so you're sort of thinking more as in a sort of community sense uh, yeah i guess i, I am speaking more in a sort of like um cg being a kind of viable uh uh you know little industry sort of side industry thing so mm. um you know i'm thinking more along the lines of those seeing those numbers go up on uh the cg tracker uh kind of thing but yeah obviously if we're talking uh like you know that sort of community feeling that we all got yesterday it's hard to beat, you know, that sort of stuff or the giveaway that Jeremy did that That's time. Amazing. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, I guess it's just like, yeah, like you said, like the whole sense of like everyone, well, the majority of people coming together, you know, mm -hmm. and supporting something yeah, or someone really is, 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 is yeah. amazing. Yeah, I came in 
I came in from the stream and Victoria was like, oh, shame you're, uh, you know, you're not getting any of those super chats. <laughs> and I said, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten those super chats if, if it wasn't, you know, for what it was. So, mm. Yeah, but like, yeah, Camel's right too. Like, you, you can't force it. You can't try and do it because then it won't work. Yeah. I had no idea it would be anywhere near as big as it was, by the way. I was no. thinking. We were going to get up to maybe five thousand. Mm -hmm. So, man, the energy was just—it was absolutely insane. Yeah, it really was, and you know, sort of the the atmosphere and the generosity, and you know, people were really feeling it as well, and it was just good, good all, good all around. I was having a ball. Mm. Uh, I was I was stressed. I was saying to the guys in the we have like a auction room DM thing. I was like, I haven't been this stressed for a stream, I think, ever. Really? Uh, because it's yeah, because it's complicated. Yeah, and it's, you haven't done one before. Yeah, I've only done one, and I did it myself, and it was just for the one um, piece that I won. Um, so. This is like, you don't screw this up because this is, you know, for Sean and there's a lot of people who've put way more time setting this up, like a hundred times more time than I have. Mm. So I'm, I was literally the, uh, <laughs> I'm that dude, you know, that trope of uh, the Hollywood kind of guy who just walks in in the last minute and says, all right, give me the cards. Here we go. Turn on the camera, like doing it live you know like mm. amanda and um uh joe and dwag and rick uh they've done all this work for a month or more going back uh to get all this sorted so i was like don't screw it up but it worked out well you know we had some cool overlays and stuff yeah just the fact that like so many people from from like fans to friends to smaller creators to to larger creators like there was a selection of a whole different spectrum of people i thought that was yeah. sick that was amazing yeah we're like um you know we i guess we're sort of in the middle range of cg streaming popularity mm -hmm. uh on that with on our channels uh but you know we we can really like turn it up when we need to like you had uh, like 250 uh, people didn't you you had, a, you, had a, you had a big i think we had 300 320 i think at one point it did start to it start to drop off at one point i'm not sure what that was it could have been like i don't know could have been anything flash cast whatever like it had it really went up like that and mm. whenever a stream goes up and then just in the exact opposite direction down, it's usually because a bigger stream just went live. Um, you know, usually for me, it's either John or Ethan or Shane. Uh, but ne none of them were streaming yesterday, so I could have been. Who knows what it could have been? But um, and it definitely wasn't the people who were on there because at that exact at that same time, we were selling Ethan's thing and Rini's thing, so. Uh, D says, what would the likelihood be? I could ask Irene to get a commission piece done. Dude, just ask her. Are you on are you on Twitter? I don't know if you are, mate. Um just ask her, man. Yeah, no, she, I think she absolutely does commission pieces. Yeah, she might be she might be busy at the does. moment, but I'd ask her anyway. Yeah. Doesn't use Twitter. Well, you know, you, I'm sure you can send her a message uh through uh, let me oh, see me if she has if she has contact details on her profile. You should if um if you find her email, spam her daily and say I know you. 
You don't know me, but I need this. Um, eventually, she'll probably uh, respond is what my thought, you know? Yeah. That's Maybe great. four or five times a day. And if you get her number, text her all the time. Um, make sure that she knows you exist. That's what worked for me. This is how this is how yeah this is how you deal with women. <laughs> and, then, and then if you oh, happen right. to hang out at some point, you know, just use the matrix moves and uh, you're good to go. So can't lose. D, she has a she has an email address on her YouTube page. Look at that, Rob. It's a facilitator. I'll put it, I'll put it in um I'll put it in the chat because it's it's public knowledge. There you go, man. Um we've got a little bit of a raid. I think 46 people have popped in now. Oh. Did Ethan end? I'm not sure. Someone said raid and the numbers happens. went up. Raid. raid, you're up to 51. Raid. I'm probably going to bow out soon, guys, because my voice is uh, going. What have you got, Rob? Did you catch AIDS? Again. Mm. I'm not saying no. Uh, no, no, I don't. Because we wouldn't, we wouldn't abandon you if you if you did. Just. Yes, you would. You'd Don't abandon you me in the blink of an eye. No, we'd 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 which we'd parade you out are out for sympathy. Yeah, sympathy <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got. You We're totally not would. above that. No. Actually, that's actually a topic that we could talk about. This thing with Mike Barron, how he got booted off Kickstarter by these weirdos. Mm. And then he made he lost two and a half thousand on Kickstarter, but gained I don't know how much, probably um, five figures on Indiegogo and and elsewhere uh, as a result of the cancellation. Uh, it's an interesting thing. I mean, they keep, it's that Streisand effect. It's it's the reason why for the longest time. Which is why it was a bit shocking. For the longest time, people did not talk about CG campaigns mm. ever because they know that's what we do when that happens. We monetize, you know, we rally, we monetize, we get the Streisand effect happening. And it, it brings and... in more people outside of CG too, I think, to CG because in, in general, people do not like cancel culture. And, you know, it may be a small yeah, portion yeah, of people, people will... but. Yeah, they don't like it. Exactly. This looks. And then you'll have. I don't know if you heard that. What happened? This is this is saying good. good. I still didn't hear you. It gets (sighs) me talking over each other. I'm not saying it again. He says it's looking good now. No, I want to hear Rob say it. That's. It's looking (laughs) good, Camel. One more time for the people in the back. Yeah, for the people in the back. <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Um, and then they'll come out and say, "Oh, you just, you just, pl- you just playing for victim bucks," and then you just say, "How else do you portray the situation?" Like these people literally came after his campaign. Mm. Um organized a mob to go and flag it and had the thing taken down. How do you want to um, frame that in any other way? Uh, but that's in a, and that's exactly why there's a complete media block on any and all CG campaigns because they don't want that happening because they know that will happen. Like they cotton that they cotton onto that real quick. Way they, back they, in 2018, they still do it sometimes, though. That like, not really. They they very rarely like they'll talk about the uh, comics gate, you know, blah blah blah. But it'll be in the 
couching of like, oh, is that still a thing? I hear they don't. I hear there's like there's only like two books and they're four years late or whatever. Like they don't <sighs> actually talk about the campaigns or how much they raise or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, these people who wrote this article aren't journalists. They're just weirdos. They're just like they're actual comic book people who obviously didn't get the memo and have you know, the effect that they wanted. They've had the opposite Oopsie. effect. Oopsie daisy. You got 86 people in here now, Mike. Nice. Welcome. Welcome. Please subscribe. Please like the stream and enjoy the show. Camel is inking and I'm coloring at the same time. What a world. How you what do a time comics. to be alive and on the same character. Yeah. Different sides of the world, too. And just yeah, think, in a year, AI can do all of it for us. <laughs> we want it to do anything. <laughs> exactly. I think AI what, is going to, like, separate. What, what um, do you think is going to happen with AI? Like, do you think... You I think, think people are going to get pan? entrenched. No, it's not a flash in the pan. It's Once a paradigm shift has been made, it doesn't shift back. Mm. It's out there. The Pandora's box is open. So a, a, a lot of people on Facebook, and I know I it's think, Facebook. I think what'll happen much, much sooner than anyone is going to know what to do about it is it's going to render Hollywood completely useless. I'm thinking like five years, ten years, maybe at the most, because eventually I can type in, okay, I want. Uh, me as Batman and I want this to look like a Tim Burton movie. I want this type of music. We're going to do these shots. I want it to look like it was shot in 1992 and it'll, it'll pop it out and it'll, you know, you'll tweak it here or there and it'll be perfect. And, you know, you'll make your own shit and, uh, and there's, there's no way Hollywood could keep up with that. In fact, it might even, it might even start competing with the gaming industry because you'll be able to, you'll be able to like f fine tune your own experience to like the, the smallest detail. And uh, I, I think that that's, and, and I think there's no turning back. I, you see, there's a guy on Facebook and I think he puts his stuff on Twitter too. And he'll do like 50 pages, right? It'll be 50 pieces. And this is the, uh, if, um, uh, what's his name? The guy who, who made uh, Royal Tannenbaums. Um, what the fuck's his name? Uh, the director. Uh, I love him. Where's, Wes Anderson? Yeah. Yeah. It'll be like, this is, this is, uh, Wes Anderson's doing a Star Wars movie and it looks like Wes Anderson's doing a Star Wars movie, or this is the new live action Thundercats movie. And it looks just like if they would be making that right now. Right now, the only issue really is that it's not, you can't, it's not video. And it really has an issue with hands for some reason, which I'm sure they'll fix in a month. But um, I, yeah, I have no doubt that very, 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 very soon you're going to be able to put a bunch of shit in there. Say, this is how long I want the movie. This is how long I want the scenes, whatever it is. These are the actors I want. You know, I want. Uh, you know, dead actors and live actors and all this stuff, and you'll just make your own shit, and and then and then that'll be it. That'll that'll be literally it. I I can I can't imagine any version of Hollywood being able to compete with that. I think they'll just absorb it. Um, I don't see how you absorb it though if people can do it at home. That's true. You got that a super chat, true. Mike. Uh, David L. Hal Forward, Camel, and Rob. Uh, Hal, David L. Up, I David? see it at least for now. Obviously, I can't, I can't look too far into the future. Although what you're saying makes 100 sense, Camel. But I think the people who are screwed right now are concept artists because concept art is <laughs> yeah, that's true. Art that you give to, um the artists the production artists to work off so it doesn't even really matter if you stole the whole thing as long as it looks like what you're trying to envision this is where the kind of photo bashing comes in all that sort of mm -hmm. stuff 
Uh, and it's about doing it quick and good and getting it like those guys are screwed because this is that. Now, the, the downside to it, obviously, is all this AI art is it's it's taking existing art styles and working with that. So if you want to create something genuinely that no one's really doing or hasn't really been seen in that way before, yeah, you're still going to need artists to do that because AI art isn't going to come up with that by itself. As far as I can see, it may eventually, it may do that, but I don't know for now. Um, but yeah, at the moment it's the uh, concept artist. Like I'm thinking, like, remember I was going to, I was doing those uh, card sketches. I might just start with some AI art and see like, just to get like, a, okay, what's the look and feel mm -hmm. and just start from there and say, oh yeah, cool. That's a good start. And then, you know, make my own based off whatever that comes up with. Um, I yeah, think at the, the at the uh, artist to consumer end, though, I think people will still want th someone to actually do the art art. Uh, but you know, <laughs> ten years, five years, like I don't know, people might might not care. I don't know. Uh, super yeah. chat, Mike. Uh, Christopher Gorey for five. Thanks to the stream, Brancroft. Regarding the AI thing, a hologram of Ronald Reagan spoke in Times Square a couple of years ago. It was spooky. That stuff, that like uh, seeing people who have died and making them do things or like video, you hope we won't be able to trust video ever again. Ever. I still don't. I don't know if you guys exist. This could be super yeah. AI being like, we're fucking making camel happy. <laughs> I don't know. I had a whole, <laughs> I had a whole, um, uh, subplot in the Lucent mm -hmm. that sort of tied up, um, the, the, the fact that Ella at the end of waking dreams, spoilers. Now the book's been out for two years, so. Uh, you know, she, she, she does a very big public thing that sh people shouldn't be able to do. Right. And the whole thing is like, well, that would just go viral. Yeah. So I had a whole subplot set up and now I'm thinking, well, I might just not do it if, you know, people will just go, oh, that's fake. That's computed. You know, like if they imagine if it goes viral on YouTube or whatever, a video of it, they're like, oh yeah, that's fake. Yeah. Uh you can just dismiss stuff that easily now. Like like the other day, like I was I was someone shared videos of cars in different places around the world just smashing into nothing and bouncing back. And I'm like, "Oh, that looks rad. Like what is happening here? Like it looks like they're hitting um invisible cars like in the peripheral." They're not. It's just someone's, you know, gone in and erased or some AI has erased. Oh, the I've part. seen that. Yeah, yeah, sure. So it's like, you know, you could say, oh, look, they've got tech, they've got, they're hiding cloaking technology. No, they're not. It's just friggin' visual trickery. So yeah, we won't be able to trust any video unless you can 100% like get back to the pure source of it. And I, I also think too, like for Hollywood, like you were saying, like, well, they'll just absorb it. The only way that anyone will make money off of it will be by owning the software that they sell you. So it's like whether you're using Mid Journey or what's the other one? I can't remember what the other one's called. But like there's a couple of them. And then like, yeah, it'll be like Photoshop. And like, well, you have a license. You can use this. You can use it for, you know, however many, however like high the resolution is, however many attempts and tries you want, how, you know, how long you want your video to be. Um, but it it almost sounds like scary because it almost seems like something that they need to regulate and they need to do it much faster than sooner. Because we, mm -hmm. if I think about how detrimental like the you know um, social media has been to whether you're talking about elections or COVID or whoever you know the the problem du jour. Um, it's made it incredibly difficult and they were way behind the eight ball on that. And now they're trying to play catch up and it's just kind of too late, but like they have to do something immediately because if they don't, it's going to, it's going to yeah, jump on them so fast that they're going to, they're not going to know their, their head from their ass. 
But how how Hollywood going to use it, Camel? Just say that. Explain it to me again. I don't think Hollywood's going to use it. I think they'll become obsolete. I think what will happen is you'll use it. You'll oh. say, I want to make Replicator. I want to make yeah. it uh, a cartoon. I want to make it whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And as soon as... Because the, the, the CG, the images that they're coming up with are so incredible. As soon as they find a way to make that a video... And then, like, add audio to it because they already have, you know, software where it's like, oh, just, you know, download 10 minutes of, uh, you know, Camel Moon talking. And now we know his cadence, we know his tone, and we can make mm. him, you know, we understand, you know, whatever his vocabulary is, and we can kind of recreate that. And so you put all those parameters in, and eventually on the out, on the outside, it'll, it'll spit something out. If you think about DVDs, the way they're coded, they're all ones and zeros. That's all it is. It's just ones and zeros. So what's to say you can't build a movie backwards with ones and zeros? You can, absolutely. We don't know how to do it yet, but you absolutely can. Yeah, a computer can. It can learn how to do it. Yeah. At the moment, they'll do exactly what I was just saying, is they'll just, instead of using concept artists, they'll just type the whole thing into a computer and get the whole movie concepted out in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. uh just off based off the script uh with like really high quality um imagery instead of what they were doing before like guys like what dan frager does with um what's it called what's that thing called that he does storyboarding stuff mm -hmm. like that stuff that doesn't end up you know seen it's just the beginnings that stuff is screwed right now uh but you know just like just like unreal engine is going to take away sets set builders unreal engine the people. stuff they're doing is absolutely and all that sort bananas of stuff. Yeah. like all that's going to change as well so, mike you, you trust was, me a, yeah? a, what's that you trust me yeah why no I, i'm i'm gonna replace myself with someone better than me so i'll, oh, okay. I'll, I'll catch you guys later um see you chat <laughs> see you rob see you guys gonna bring in um and uh, yeah, someone said earlier that uh, the um, pip it'll be like furniture. You know, you get like IKEA furniture, flat pack, and then you'll have people who want more bespoke stuff. So I think mm -hmm. that will absolutely happen as well at the same time. So it's not as if art is going to go away. It can never go. Away. And plus, if you want something new, at least for now, the AI art won't be able to do that. It's collating styles that already exist. You're yeah, right. Uh, right. Yeah. Cause it's like, okay, well, oh. what style do you want in it? But it's not able to create its own style, not yet. What a, what a friggin' upgrade. Holy cow. <laughs> Kelsey. Oh, yeah. That's a huge I mean, I thought. Shit. Yeah. I don't have his. I thought uh, Rob was joking. I know I was rocking oh, a wow. hair as Rob, but you know. I could make it work. <laughs> uh, Joshua as well sends a bogan chat says CG flop. How you going, Kelsey? Man, I was listening to this conversation and I was like, I got, I got to get on some of this. <laughs> get in here. Tell us what you think, because you're like a, you're, you're a, you know, you're personally like I, like I listen to what Camel's saying and I'm like right there with you. I totally know. Like other than like worried about the evil shit that's going to be done with it. I can't wait to like make cartoons with this shit. Like, man, I can't yeah, wait to use that's it. That's what I'm excited about. Yeah, I want to yeah. use it. I'm gonna make making movies. I can be doing it. They, if you make crazy. the if you dude, if you make the uh it's just like how digital cameras really rejuvenated like indie filmmaking and stuff, and like everybody can do it. It's harder to sift through all the crap, but it means that you have a greater opportunity to find genius, you know, when more people oh, sure. have the ability to do things. So if you can use AI to create a photorealistic film, I mean, it looks no different than any Hollywood production. Just one guy with his computer. Uh, man, imagine the one creative soul out there that could be the next Kubrick, and he just never had the money or the opportunity to do such a thing. Okay. Yeah. I'm, thinking, I'm trying to think half glass half full here. <laughs> Check this out. So Rob asked earlier, would you be able to un... He's asking this of me. Would you be able to unbend 
these buildings and then get them back down to normal which i've already got so that's fine and sure. then you can stretch it like in the matrix so it looks like she's warping them and make an animation and get the lightning to like oh. crackle and stuff i'm like i can't but i can you... imagine that an, an ai could really easily oh, yeah, and like so i don't right. have to go to an animator they would know all the bits in between Gosh. all that sort of stuff I'm, I'm not even thinking there yet in. You're so right. I was sitting there thinking, well, if you had layers, you can do this, you know. And I was like, and then exactly. You said AI, yeah. I was like, like oh, no, no, the AI. I'll just like, no, I can do that. Yeah, I know exactly how many steps we need to get from here to there, and and it'll, you know, it'll take all. So like, yeah, that's that's right. The animation side. I, of it, I you think know, be like real suit, like the first instance of what you'll see will be like, okay, let's um, let's let's fix some movies okay like let's oh yeah let, let's uh, put sean connery in the george lazenby bond movie oh let's god you're right oh my yeah, god you're that's so what right. they'll do <laughs> first and then it's like let's fix these universes and you know make them as polished as we can and then eventually they'll start moving to all right let's just add a scene all right let's see what happens when we put kim basinger in casablanca and then, jo and then it'll start. Dude, George so Lucas is like, "Why did I give Star Wars away? I could be still fixing it today. <laughs> I can fix it for the rest of my life." Yeah. <laughs> Tweaking, just adding in so many like dinosaurs and right into the front of the screen, walking in front of Luke Skywalker <laughs> yeah. while he's saying uh, key scenes. Could we could we fit another massive animal to just cover the whole screen in this shot? That would be awesome. <laughs> if we could. I wonder how many uh, guns we can get rid of in this cut. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kelsey, I want to thank you, you know, for uh talking about the boots and heels contest. That was really cool of you. Oh yeah. You get anybody yeah. you get any winners so far? You see anybody that's we've like, had oh, I've yeah. I've had some we've had some really good uh entries that people have made public, and awesome. then I've had some really amazing stuff people have shown me in DMs. Um mm. that you know I don't want to it's not up to me to show it right so I'll they, wait they don't want to scare it. anybody yet with yeah yeah genius. but they're like you know I'm, I'm gonna get this colored or i'm about to do this and yeah, i know yeah. some like top talent that's uh you know doing stuff so i'm very excited with how yeah right now. great dude this that's like something i would have jumped for i know you really want me to do one i totally would but i can't plus uh i just I don't want to get in the way. Like I'm really, I love seeing the what people can do too. So like, I want to see what what comes out. Well, of I want to see what you can do. Uh, do you have yeah. the skill? I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna type I'm in Kelsey Shannon boots and heels into Mid yeah. Journey, and I'm gonna oh, enter no. for Kelsey. I wonder if that would. Oh, that. That's even better. I wonder if that would work. It would, it would bring back uh, like a boots. It would bring her yeah, a heel. It would, it like would bring her, back shoes. But it would have, it would have, it would have a Kelsey Shannon beard coming out. Dude, that if that beard. worked, I'll never draw another thing again. I'll be uh, <laughs> David L for five. Wow, Kelsey in the house. People are energized Hello. by this upgrade that we've had uh, recently. <laughs> Poor Rob. I'm just gonna uh, feel Sheila sorry says, for Rob. Poor yeah, we're we're able to decapitate Ray Skywalker. It's gonna be great. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you like I don't like the ending of Last Jedi. Let's fix that. You know. Yeah. Oh whatever God, it is. Right. Let's let's actually do an edit where we either make Jar Jar cool or take him out altogether. Oh, you know that oh my god, the fan film is gonna get outrageous. They're gonna be just everywhere. It's gonna be like I think it's gonna be like a cinema verite thing. I think it's gonna be like a, a renaissance movement when people Homer start Simpson making. is Darth Maul, you know. Like, <laughs> dude. like you're gonna have so much shit that's coming out. You can just imagine the possibilities. It, Hollywood will lose complete control of the situation. Uh, that's what I'm saying. There's no way to yeah. keep up with it. And especially no. if it's like online, it's like, well, I own the rights to The Matrix. I own the rights to Terminator. It's like, but well, then five other ones will pop yeah. up right behind it. And the, yeah, they'll call it, you know, The Exterminator and it'll have Schwarzenegger. Or, yeah, not what's his name? Stallone instead of Schwarzenegger, and it's like, all right, well, well, no, I, I think you're right. And you remember when they started mixing music, where like, here's the Bee Gees mixed with the theme song from Godzilla. Like the sampling, I don't know, like, yeah, yeah. They would take they would take two songs and merge them together, and some of them worked great. You know, like, wow, this actually makes something new and cool. But like, I can imagine that at least, like you're saying, there's going to be these fads, these like waves. Where like yeah, I, right at the beginning, it's gonna be like you say, mixing or making new parts of movies or fixing old movies, but then you're gonna have tons of like 
Garfield as RoboCop movies or what else? What, what else can you think of? Like, you know, Star I mean, Wars anything. But set in the American graffiti. Limit. You could you know? literally think of anything. Yeah. I mean, I think I think people are going to fix what they don't like first, right? So it, right. it's going to be like, well, I really don't like Alien 3. So let's make Alien 3 more like Alien 2. Mm-hmm. And let's mm-hmm. let's keep Newt around or whatever it is. Whatever, you know, whatever like the main issues are people. We never got a real Ghostbusters 3. Mm. We never, you know. So like, let's. Oh my let, god! Now you're talking. <laughs> yeah, like let's let's do that. Let's like it takes place in 1992, and you know you come up with whatever the story is, and Oscar's grown up, whatever the story is, mm. and then like that will be definitely stuff that I think will people will take it upon themselves to do. You know, they'll make Batman Forever with uh, um, Billy D. Williams instead of Tommy Lee Jones. Mm. And then maybe some point when we're about 60, 70 year olds getting ready to call it a night, the next genius will come out, you know, and make the next masterpiece that changes the world like Star Wars did once upon a time. You know, I want to see it again. I want to see originality, something that just blows me away. But I, it's been a you long just time. have to you just have to stick around that long. I mean, like I read a thing that said the first person to live to two hundred has already been born. Oh wow! I hope it's so. Not I me. mean, I don't know. Yeah, so- <laughs> <laughs> but like you, you know, if well, you that's the consider- thing. Like you see seventy-year-olds now out there; these healthy living they look nuts. like they're fifty years old. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, the no, new some of them look like they're forty. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a woman who's seventy who looks like she's forty. People think I'm 24. Uh, what? I get I get 25, 26. You know, I'm just like, they're like, you're 40? I'm like, yeah. No idea. <laughs> um, super chat here from uh, David L. They're called mashups, two songs mashups. mixed together. Yeah, we'll be mashing up whatever you want. I mean, this is the thing, like. We can kind of picture where it's going to be and what it's going to be, but you, we, that's the thing. Like we just don't when, know what it's going to be capable of. Well, when, yeah, when you have be, I mean, no if you look back on when it first came out, when it first came out, you know, everything was pretty busted. The faces were like, Ugh. well, dude, even now, earlier than that, the pieces that than that. is showing are just like, yeah. Dude, awesome. I, I did a video of this when this really kind of started. And uh, because my friend Brian Denham sent me like all these crazy abstract paintings that look like uh kirby but painted like uh, uh uh like you were like you guys were saying uh concept art you know mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. uh just really cool stuff but it was so abstract and rudimentary and then like i think it's only been three or four months since i did that video and already i'm seeing video being produced of like photographs of women running across beaches and it's almost good you know like whoa yeah. okay this that one that escalated quickly <laughs> yeah like i would imagine too if it's already at a point where they can render sim sim not simplistic but single images like what's keeping anyone from saying like all right i want to see jack kirby draw a spawn comic and then yeah. it's like 22 pages you know and then you just type it in and there it is or whatever new superhero is out with an older artist attached to it well did Um, you see zach's uh kurosawa directing batman in like the 30s stuff no i didn't see that i listened to it but let me find it watch it oh it's i'm like okay when i see stuff like that like that's a strong advocation for some of this because that i'm like i would watch that Fuck yeah. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. I think I downloaded the images. Um I know it's on it. All right. One she second. Give me one she second. has AI animations on her channel. Thousands of iterations of similar frames. You can change the scene seamlessly. So it looks like it's already freaking starting. Yeah. Uh, let me see. It's on it. He showed him on his community all, tab. We're in for a wild ride. Oh, maybe I did see them. Yeah. Oh, my God. He's still posting stuff. Cobra Commander. Oh, my God. It looks like the greatest CG film I've ever seen. It's gotten so good so fast. 
Oh my god, he's still making Batman's. Oh, dear. Let me just show you. Is it this a one. film or is it it's like stills? Um, no, he's just rendering out steals. Here, I'm gonna just okay. share the whole uh thing so we can just flip through them. Um, yeah, share screen window. Here we go. All right, no porn's open. All right, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> this is just some Batman he made. I mean, damn, could you imagine? Like, you go to DC with that in like 2007, you're hired on the spot. Oh my <laughs> <You> god, <know? laughs> look, at the, look at the one he did. Uh, before. let's see, is it is right here? Wait. I gotta go back. Please don't show anything awkward. Uh, uh, yeah, check this out. Look at Cobra Commander he made. I mean, that looks like I would watch that movie in a heartbeat if that was and a movie. Zach made these. Yeah, so where been... is, I want to know, like, where is it pulling this stuff from? Like everywhere, the bits and pieces everywhere, Go everywhere the internet is connected to. Every image that's ever been published, every person yeah. that's described what they think the true Batman looks like. It might be pulling from all of that, including what you're putting in. Oh, yeah. That that looks has a huge Christian Bale resemblance, like right out mm. of Dark Knight Rises. I mean, there's a bit of the game, the Arkham. There's a bit of like... Yeah, yeah. Look at this. I mean, this is a bit like... Uh, who's the director that made the last few Batman movies? Um, Nolan? Yeah, it's like Nolan doing the Arkham Asylum game. Oh, yeah. Shot, you know? <laughs> He's been yeah, busy. I mean, and Holy think about like what was coming out last year. It was it wasn't even close to this. It was, you know, we were doing bullshit. I would be like hail salad, and I put it in, and I would get like a salad in space, <laughs> you know, like yeah, with yeah. a bunch of pillars Matt, around it. Matt Man. Krotz um, has been using it to help him with his um, character sheets and stuff. Yeah, dude, uh, I've totally the, thought uh, about using it as an oof. idea machine. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what I'm awesome. thinking of doing for my. I want to do some start doing some concept art stuff, that's and I just so want to have badass. something to like. I want to play that game. <laughs> yes. Well, pretty soon you'll be able to make it, probably in like 20 minutes. God, he posts a lot. Oh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Hold on. This these are just amazing. How do I, how do I fucking click? Can on you this? imagine like you're? Uh, I don't know. 10 years from now, like you're, you're an infant, right? In 20 years. And then they're like, you're watching a movie and you, and your parents be like, you know, we used to make those. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Oh, like, man. Oh no, the, the computers didn't do it. We used to actually like dress up and run around and mm -hmm. we had cameras and they'd be like, what the fuck are you talking? They're not going to know any different. Yeah. They're not going to know look, any different. Yeah. Look at this one. This is, that's it looks so beautiful. real. Look at the, she's the chick from the Wolverine movie or something, right? Like they pulled her face out of a, uh, I've seen her before. Well, I mean, she's distorted a little bit, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're all a little uh, at, sloppy at the moment. I mean, if you wanted to do this, I think there's like yeah, look I think there's still some cape like doesn't um, it's like totally there's cape quality like and also moral oh, yeah. um, implications attached right, to right. it because especially if you're just like typing in like okay, here's my art. Well, it's like actually, it's it's a whole bunch of other people's art. But my oh, argument yeah, is the one. same as I've, I've heard this before, and I kind of agree with this, is that I am no different. I am drawing from yeah, no, that's, Rosetta, that's, that's from Mignola, from Jim yeah. Lee, from yeah. all these, Bruce Timm, oh, yeah. that's fair. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm combining it into a new thing through prompts. But I did have to learn the skill to create that on, you know, on paper. Um, but now yeah. you, you don't even have to do that. I, you know, but I look at it also as like people like us that, and even people in the future that want to maintain the archaic ancient ways of writing on paper with, you know, <laughs> with, <Losers>. uh, <laughs> yeah, with precious minerals that are dug from the ground and connected with wood. Oh God. It's just horrifying when you think about it. I mean, it'll be <laughs> literally on the same level of like cave drawings. It's just, wood like, wow, is smashed into pulp. Yeah. And then formed into a paper. That they it'll draw. be like it'll be like wiping your ass with wadded uh, things of paper instead of using the three seashells. You're seashells, right. Yeah. Look at us and go like, "What the fuck?" Exactly. Uh, Shaggy Bear for five. Got to go to sleep, uh, you guys. You guys are too drunk. We're not drunk. No, this is just. All right, I want to share I... what I found. This is uh, Matt Crotz. Uh, he's doing um, his I'm book coloring, Kyrie. So he does like historical. Right um in a kind of well it's just look this is what he's doing on mid journey 
Look at this. Oh, oh. wow. Like a more um can I zoom I in? mean, th these Let people me. are out of work. I mean, what the uh, you know, like Yeah, you know like, what? You can I mean... see this is all mid journey stuff because it's just taking in like people's notations as well. Yeah. Like not actually text, it's just <laughs> gobbledygook. Oh, yeah. But I mean, Guys, the styles look, are there. I, I mean, I, I I was doing digital comics like when and everybody was saying, "Oh, you know, this is it's gonna everybody's gonna be able to do it and like whatever." So I look at this, I'm like, "Okay, well, figure out how to do your job with Mid Journey then. If that's what all they're gonna all start hiring Mid Journey artists, then be the best one, right?" Well, <laughs> I, think this I is mean, his it's actual character that he's got in Mid Journey now uh, in this style. I think that because I think I recognize this character from his book. Hmm. So he's there. He's just like testing, playing around with like character sheets and stuff like that. Yeah, it kind of like, looks look, like there's uh, errors. You can see the errors where it doesn't really know what it's doing. Oh, yeah. What's it's a just, face? Yeah. I mean, you like, can yeah, go and could, clean that up. Could, yeah. And that's just now. I mean, again, in two months, right. who knows? In three months, you know, they said uh, for a long time, they were like, the singularity is going to happen in 2035. And then they moved it to 2030. And now there's thinking it could be 2025. I mean, if that's in two years from now, or two and a half years, three years, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's going to, we're just going to go, it's going to go right through the roof. It's going to be nuts. We live in yeah. strange times. I'll tell you what. I mean, well, I don't, like, I, I see, I hear, I'm reading all these comments, D. Uh, I don't hate it. I think it needs to be looked at from all points of view. I ran right. AI is pretty good for ideation process, pre production yeah. stuff. Henry says it's the demise of human creativity. Yeah. <laughs> no, See, like yeah. it doesn't have to be, but well, like, it, like it, it. Look, look, guys. It, people still play piano. Right. Yeah. That's an ancient freaking instrument. Yeah, people still do calligraphy. It, you know. It's yeah. Like, it's not the end of the world. Look at uh, like music. You know, um, I think the AI could only ever just replicate make yeah music. like it's not replicate at a point, music based yeah. on what's been done before like mm. I mean, it's going to take um a, a musician to create this new thing that and you know might have to go in really strange directions but but uh, i think this is also true like a lot it's going to shake up the creative industries on all levels in ways that we can't even really fathom yet yeah it's yeah. just like i see a lot of stuff like trends you know like i like looking at kind of um patterns and like i see for instance i see um a lot of people going back to like homeopathic they're like uh gardening you know um doing a lot of stuff uh and not necessarily just to save money you know there's been this movement going on for a while uh of like being self-sufficient um all this stuff so i see things like this as well like um the the thing that we do um will it's you know maybe it becomes more precious it, it you know the fact that you can do it by hand or you you do it you know by moving your hand on paper to translate what's in your head i think it becomes a little more special uh, if you're able to do that kind of thing you know and then there's going to be people that grow it, up well it certainly would like if you do that if you know you know, you get to the point where, and it's, if it's if it's that easy to make, ninety nine percent of artists, you'd be like, "Oh, can I have an original of your piece?" They've got to print it out. Because, <laughs> yeah. You know, that's how ninety nine percent of art is made. So the other people who are still doing it traditionally, you mean you have to like, use your hands? That's like a baby story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you never know. I mean. Uh, video games i mean it took a long time i thought video games were going to kill movies a long time ago but you know i'm still still hanging in there uh but vr you know i thought vr so like, man if they get a handle on this and they're trying but you know augmented yeah, reality is probably going to be the way of it not not vr right now the the issue with vr is that like the barrier to entry price wise is just too high Right, but so was DVD when it came out. Eventually, it was. Oh like, yeah, sure. I can right. get one for three bucks now in a big pile. DVD of them. <laughs> player was like six hundred dollars or something. Like yeah, that. it was insane. Yeah, yeah, it was competing with uh, 
HD DVD or no? Oh, that was that was Blu-ray. Blu-ray right? yeah, 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 and yeah, HD right. came out at the same time, but yeah. <laughs> but initial DVDs. I remember going to uh, Fye in the mall, and mm. they had DVDs like new. Like they put all the bonds out first, and they were like thirty five dollars each. I was like, this is mm. insane. And that was back, that was 20 years, 22 years ago, right? I mean, $35 I mean, granted, now is a lot. Granted, that killed the Laserdisc, um, but yeah. I'm still buying DVDs right now. Like, I, I couldn't get 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And they had it for a DVD, but it was like, I want I want that old, uh, or they had it for Blu-ray, but I'm like, I don't know what Disney's doing to all this shit. I want the one that I saw, uh, you know, <laughs> that I remember, that so... Had- Woke politics injected into it. Yeah, but check this Watch out. out. Watch I out, brought... guys. I, I'm about to use some AI right now, and I'm going to content Uh-oh. aware fill this area and see what we get. What's Photoshop going to give me? That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. So check it out. I bought the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, the, the DVD double set, the collector set, and then on it, it has a disclaimer that there is like cruelty to indigenous populations on it, and I noticed it was, printed, <laughs> it was printed in 2022. And I was like, wait a minute. They're making, they're still pressing this old DVD like now. I, I, I was too late. I was too late. They already got their hands on it. It's so crazy. Uh, I'm going to watch it. And they, yeah. they took the whole Indian scene out. You know, where <laughs> nothing's going to be permanent. At anymore. what point are we going to buy an issue or a, a copy of Dumbo? And they're like, oh, we took all the crows out. There's no crows anymore. You can still watch the movie, but that's gone. It's like, I'm surprised oh, okay. it hasn't happened already. I bet you it's not even on uh, Disney Channel. Or they I don't think. I think I don't know if on Disney they they either took the movie off or they took the scene out. It's but it's one or the other. Hmm. Hmm. So crazy, man. I, I, it's I'm, a little bit. It's actually that part of it is a little bit 1984 because that's what they little did. bit. Oh my like, god, it's straight up like horror show. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. like it, that. That that was that was his job to you know keep the, the like up Fahrenheit 454. What what was the title what, of that? When he Fahrenheit 451. Or or uh, what's the one with uh, Christian Bale doing the gun fu equilibrium? Yeah, they all had all of those movies are the same thing. I'm gonna have like an underground. Like you're gonna move like a piece of tin, and it's gonna have a big hole in the ground with with all my comics and my toys and stuff that's like contraband. <laughs> <laughs> my copy of Dumbo. <laughs> I can't believe twenty years in prison, bro, for your copy of Dumbo. <laughs> Dude, I, I hope we get a handle on this shit like fast, but you never know, man. I'm getting ready. <laughs> I got my contraband Dumbo. copies of Dumbo. Yeah, well, we used Dumbo. to sort of, we used to, we used to look at the people who would collect the CDs. They have these massive CD collections right. still, and now and now DVDs. And we're like, like oh my god, you don't need them anymore. You got streaming services, and then you mm. go and want to find something, and it's like it's not on the service, or it's nowhere to be found, or whatever. And you're like, oh you mean i gotta like rent it or something mm-hmm. and yeah they were right they were absolutely right and they're not changed they're the original cinematic releases so for now get on them uh let me grab these super chats here from jay lee this is why what? i still own vhs exactly yeah yeah dude i i'm I still got a few, but man, I could kick myself. Should have kept more. VHS is going to be like records. I, I feel like Schindler, that. dude. I feel like Schindler with VHS. I'm like, oh, I could have saved one more. <laughs> <laughs> this piece of art, two more, two tapes, it's two oh, tapes dude. right here. They're all going away. Oh, uh, Eric Winberg, Kelsey with that OG song of the South. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I saw that in the freaking theater. Oh, it was probably a re-release when I was a kid. But. Day one with the pop. <laughs> Great. Well, no, I mean, you know, it's a kid. You go see Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. You go see yeah, yeah, yeah. Song of the South. You go see uh, whatever. Uh, the the one with the dancing penguins, um, uh, Mary Poppins. Mm-hmm. Uh, saw all of those in the theater when I was a little kid. So but I'm, those were, I mean, some of those were way older than I am. So I, they were no doubt re-releases. Um, you know, thinking about it now, I was like, I guess they used to do that a lot more. 
you know, releasing old movies again in theaters. Yeah, you never see that. Unless now it's they like just some remake them. Yeah, now they yeah. remake them, right? <laughs> yeah, don't you want to see Amityville Horror for the 47th time? Oh, okay. Yeah, remade by Michael Bay. The monsters. Are- well, it's weird because Mola. movies have Wah. they've kind of they gotten to that point you. where like <laughs> they're they're like covers. It's like a cover song. It's like You're this right. is my interpretation of a movie that other people have done over and over and over, and I'm I'm going to take my swing at it. It's it's yeah. a weird. Well, soon they're going to have uh, AI to be able to handle that real fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It all comes Maybe back that's to what the they'll AI. do. They're like, let's uh, let's test this idea before we spend a hundred million dollars on it, and we'll just AI the movie uh, first. Oh uh, yeah, previs and, to the extreme. Yeah, and then we'll see if we want to actually invest in something here. God, the the future is going to be weird. Like it's funny, this stuff we didn't really predict. You know, we predicted a sort of a Jetsons future, <laughs> and that's never going to happen. Like. We were crazy. Like, you think you would let all the people out there in the world just fly around above our heads? Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. That ain't going to happen. Yeah, happen. that was my argument a long time ago. I was like, no way. But now, drone technology, they don't have to do anything. It does it for them. So when the FBI well, they wants couldn't to bring them in, they just You don't even have to leave your house. You don't have to leave your house. <laughs> you, everything can come to you. Like, it's the whole, the, the whole system is like, yeah, it's, it's going to be crazy. I, I wouldn't mind. I'm getting older. So some of that sounds pretty good with me. I, I don't like leaving my house. <laughs> oh, yeah. When co- like the pandemic for me, uh, personality wise, was freaking a godsend. I was like, you mean I get to work from my house? I don't have to, you know, go I barely out even and noticed. interact with people. I honestly barely even noticed the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, Seriously. I was the same. I was like, well, I work from home anyway. I don't fucking go out and talk to people. So, you know, <laughs> everyone else is freaking out. I'm just going to stay home and, you know. Yep. The only I mean, downside nothing... here in Australia is we're quickly becoming China. But, you know. Well, yeah. I have to deal with that when it comes. You need to rise up. Get them guns back. Become more like Americans. <laughs> oh, well, I say that. I, I would, I would tell for more like uh, Australians <laughs> from 1980. Like. Ah, you guys are fucking to. cool back then. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I think we've, I think, I think we've all changed. Yeah, uh, you've gotten uh, like um, uh, westernized. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's not like when uh, we conquered Japan. You know, they. <laughs> no, you know what it is. You know what it is. We've become very, we've become very cosmopolitan and very. Um, What's the word when everyone lives in cities? Um, gentrified? Metropolitan. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, whereas before, we all sort of used to live in... Um, I mean, if people still do live in suburbs here, but I think it's only 14%. Uh, <laughs> D says cunts. <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> like, only 14% of Australians live outside of kind of metropolitan areas. So it's just... K two thousand says it's just Melbourne. Nah, man. You look at the look at the map. It's all... I used to watch a lot of uh, Australian movies. I was obsessed with Australian movies. I still think Australians made some of, and, and I, well, I don't know about recent movies, but they've made some of the best movies ever. And I love the Australian. We do, we do punch it up our way. Love it, uh, George Miller. And he's got a whole thing about how awesome Australian filmmakers are. Love it, uh, but. And I, I remember the way watching some of these old movies, like there was one uh, where this guy is like, he's driving through the desert and then he like runs across this Aboriginal guy, but he's not like a total Aboriginal, he's totally modern, but he's mm-hmm. Aboriginal descendant, but he only had one shoe on. And he's mm-hmm. like, hey, uh, you lost a shoe. And he go, looks down and he goes, nah, mate, I found one. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've seen that. Yeah. And I was like, ah, oh, it's nah, called mate, Welcome to Whoop one. Whoop. Yeah, got out of whoop whoop yep. Yeah, but it, too, it was mate. that outlook that I responded to. I'm like, ah, yeah, I love that. I love that way of looking at life. That's a is good that one. Any dingo? <laughs> is he still alive? I can't remember what movie that is. That's Welcome to Whoop Whoop. Uh, there's yeah, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of good uh, yeah Aussie movies. Um, 
that guy, I forget the name of that guy. He's only made a couple of movies and you can't find him. Like uh, he made one with Ian McGregor called The Eyes of the Beholder. And I remember seeing it in the theater. It didn't do well. Um, I remember loving the music, but you can't find it anywhere. You might be able to see the trailer on YouTube, but that's about it. So crazy. Welcome to Whoop Whoop. There's like a video cassette of that. That's it. You'll never find it in any other format, at least that I know of. <laughs> oh, and he also did, uh, what was it? The uh, the ballroom dancer one. Um, oh, you're talking about Baz Luhrmann? No, no. But this guy was kind of like Baz Luhrmann light back in the day. Baz Luhrmann like took off. Uh, but this guy, I think, is far more interesting a filmmaker than Baz Luhrmann. Uh, I wish I could remember his name. Here, I'll look him up. You might know him. You guys My all wife know and I, right? we, we tried watching that Baz Luhrmann Elvis movie. What a fucking disaster. I've, I've never seen it, it's it's a two hour montage. There's never a slowdown. It's it's just a montage. The whole thing. It's 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 awful. I mean, we had to turn it off. What was it? Like it, the Elvis one that he made. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like yeah, uh, it just, Ethan talked it's about it. He wasn't seizure inducing. I like uh, and this. It took me a long time to come around to it, but I like the uh romeo and juliet juliet one that he did yeah uh, no, I, that one as well. I, I like nuts. i like shakespeare i like shakespeare so i don't mean well dude that's it. that's why it ends up being good because like there's a moment in the movie where all baz Luhrmann's bullshit kind of gets set aside for the actual story mm-hmm. and it's it ends up being just as compelling as always so and it's real well acted at that point yeah um uh strictly ballroom was the name of the movie yeah there you I go i can't believe i forgot that it's so famous but well that's know, his that's his biggest movie and but he's done all these other movies that like that are great um i the beholder i don't know but welcome to whoop whoop was hilarious uh right i don't know the guy Stephen name. elliott steph Stephen elliott yeah that's um, how he did adventures of priscilla queen of the desert that's what he did oh Not, yeah uh, that's another not, good one. Not strictly well. ballroom. That was back in the day when you could make a drag movie and not have it be weird. Although it is like Australian weird. I remember going to, we had all these boutique theaters in Dallas at that time. And I remember going to see Jackie Chan's uh, like Super Cop. And we were, our line was fighting with the uh, Priscilla Queen of the Desert line. <laughs> 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 Where our lines were like crossing and it was like, hey, you know, <laughs> it was it was just weird, but it was a fun moment. Uh, oh, man, that was like a Shane Davis story. That went nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're about to wrap it up because uh, we're two hours in and I'm going right. to go have dinner. But uh, Camels, Boots and Heels, that's what I've been, well, we've both been working on. Um, we're working on a new, I titled the stream Quadriptic. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Quadriptic. Uh, yeah. yeah. So that's a new word that I've Quadriplegic? learned. You, Quadriplegic? It means four panels together. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that's what it's called. Quadrophenia. Be. Um, yeah. Quadrophobia, exactly. <laughs> Fear of roller skates. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, that is uh, still available. Plenty of plenty of perks. Uh, lots of cool stuff on the campaign uh, mm. is available here. It's in technical in demand, but we're still treating it like it's live because of Indiegogo shenanigans. Um, and also in, I just realized, Camel, that I'll be launching this the night of our. Um, video game show so that'll be fun yeah it was also it was supposed to be the night of the original closeout for boots and heels so how ironic oh well good i'm happy to take it (laughs) great (laughs) well you know uh and uh what'd you ask sorry kelsey how are y'all playing that is it like the twitch or something like how are y'all doing that like playing a game game. game. yeah magic Uh oh It's wow. but at this point, I think we're claiming it as proprietary. We spent that much time <laughs> figuring oh, out wow. how to do this. <laughs> it we is real, you know what? Uh, yeah, you know what we asked, uh, we're like, funny. why is no one else doing this? And then we decided to do it, and then you found we, out oh, why. Oh, that's why, no yeah. oh, because it. it's impossible. I see, because you need to <laughs> fucking mule near her. 
but we did figure it out and uh yeah so that's cool so i will do a i'll probably do a two-hour stream on that's this wednesday at 9 p.m till okay what 11 i guess maybe i'll just roll maybe i'll just take the afternoon off and roll right into the video game show hmm um well I'll try to take 15 20 in between you yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah we need yeah. to set up so shower up you know <laughs> yeah. Shower, yeah. But, uh, get, a, get a sandwich yeah yeah <laughs> It's like Shake workouts, man. This is no joke. I get exhausted after these. This is no joke. You gotta like, you know, know. You gotta yeah, pace yeah. yourself. Pace yourself. I'm fine by myself. I found mm. out, but when I get on a panel with lots of people, I'm just go, I get crazy. drained. Oh yeah, it's it's kind of overwhelming. But uh, yeah, so 9 p.m. Eastern, John. Yes, correct. So that'll be this the 15th this Wednesday uh, American mm. time that I'll be. Trying, uh, trying to do it on my own and see how that goes. We'll see. Mm. You know, it's, it'll be interesting. I actually like this better than Indiegogo now. The actual way it's laid out and everything. So. I'm excited, man. Cool. I've been following the following the uh, the adventure of this. The build. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, there'll be there'll be a new video dropping tomorrow. Where I mean, it's it's like people have said, oh, you know, you can do this, this, and that, and everything. I said, like, what I want to do with this, I want to make a, a a website that anyone can make. Mm -hmm. Like anyone can do this trust me if i can do it you can do it make it very so, very very simple for me I, yeah please <laughs> yeah yeah and then you know on the and then if if anyone has as so it'll it'll exist as a series um if anyone has any questions they can just pop it in the you know in the Ooh. comment section and i'll be able to answer it because i feel like i really am I become an expert on basic shopify now so um yeah, I'll be able to answer any questions. Actually, people have already asked me, like, what are all these plugins? And I'll just, I'll tell you straight up. Like, I'm not hiding anything. Just, you just ask me and yeah, I'll tell you what it is and how to do it and where to get it and good man, all that sort of stuff. All right. Are you going to show that off, Camel? No. Are oh, I, I was closing out of the, but that's fine. Okay, Maybe cool. Just, okay. Yeah. All right. No, I'll just, all right. Well, let's close that. We'll show that. We'll show that another time. That's fine. Um, all right. Uh, I want to thank Rob for um, being here in his, in his uh, sickened state, Camel. Hmm. And I want to thank uh, Kelsey for jumping in and being the yeah. much, so much, much, much better. Yeah. Co -host. <laughs> Hundred Holy times. crap. Poor I mean, it's not even better. It's like you start at a zero, anything's better. But, <laughs> oh, Jesus. You know. Poor if times zero by 100, it's still zero. <laughs> yeah, but you add 100 and you go from zero to 100 overnight start the gun says i want to thank rob for leaving <laughs> <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna go have dinner um i won't be streaming over the next couple of days probably but i will put out a video so i'll see you on that and then i'll see you on a game show i'll see you for the thing yeah okay all right um, see you guys bye individually we are weak like a single twin but as a bundle we form a mighty 